Hi, Gemini. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Gemini. We will take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. And so let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, we have judgment and the major of the major arcana, and we have the Knight of Pentacles. So judgment, you see the angel here blowing the horn, and the people below looking up from the water, raising their hands as if to say, I hear you. So when we see judgment, it's about feeling that feeling or, you know, really getting that sense that it's time to think about what's happening in my life. Where am I right now? Am I living the life that I'd hoped to lead? Am I fulfilling my purpose? Am I my best self? We reach those times in our life. We think about things. We're like, wow, I'm in this job. It's just not making me feel content or fulfilled, or perhaps it's a relationship. And that triggers you know, a self-examination. So judgment is that time to consider, you know, what's gone before, where are you right now, and what is it that you want? How are you going to get to be the person that fulfills, you know, your dreams, your desire to be the best person that you can be? And so with judgment, this says a second chance is okay. It's okay to be reborn. It's okay to have this rebirth, a reawakening. You don't have to bring the baggage from before. You get to cleanse yourself. You get to have um, you know, a clean slate in order to bring forth and to start again the life that you want. And the judgment comes from uh, within that uh, you know, you're, it's at any age this can happen. When you feel that you have to change something, it's the judgment, really, you come to judgment. You're judging yourself. You're hearing that feeling within that's saying, something. I need to change something. So this awakening here, reawakening, gets you to thinking and makes you evaluate, really, your journey in life. So here's your journey, uh, time for you to allow yourself to either have a second chance to be reborn, maybe in a new career, a new relationship, whatever it may be. Here's the Knight of Pentacles. And in terms of awareness, this Knight of Pentacles is very solid, dependable, strong, strong-hearted, I would say, devoted, devoted to the task, devoted to the work, devoted to family, someone that you can rely upon. So whether this is someone within your circle, within your life, who provides this type of support to you, or whether the universe is telling you that you need to be practical, you need to have some common sense as you're perhaps thinking about the future, being reborn, and that there's patience here. Hard work over time will pay off. Things don't come immediately. This Knight of Pentacles is in it for the long haul with the hope of reaching hit the, you know, the desires and the goals that they'll eventually get there. They'll do whatever it takes to get there. So there's a sense of focus, being devoted, and, and hardworking, pragmatic. Okay, so we have, in terms of guidance, we have the Seven of Rods and we have the Three of Swords. The Seven of Rods is a card for you 
to defend yourself, to stand tall, to, you know, push back perhaps the people who doubt you, the people who are trying to persuade you to do something different, the people that are trying to, um, you know, affect your life. Here, you need to stand tall for what you believe in and, and what you feel and for your actions. You have the height advantage here. You know, this is your life. You're wielding that wand. So it's a matter of, of really defending yourself and protecting yourself. And there are times in life that you just simply have to do that. That um, sometimes friends or family bring about a negative energy and they don't really, maybe they don't mean to, but it certainly sounds like it or feels like it particularly when you go deep and you're evaluating your own life. So with the seven of rods, we have the three of swords. The three of swords is about a hurtful situation, something causing you pain. It can be a busted relationship. It can be um, a betrayal. It could be a loss, you know, a loss of someone near and dear. Uh, swords in the heart hurt, and that's just that. It hurts. You have to deal with the hurt. You have to move on. It could very well be that your desire to have this rebirth, to be reawakened, uh, is getting some flack. And maybe some people are, are saying hurtful things and you've had to defend yourself. The good news is that ultimately we get over this. We can process this. We can put it in our lesson book and we grow from it. This isn't going to last a lifetime. You're going to feel the sting and then you're going to be able to move on. So in terms of possible outcomes, we have the five of pentacles and we have the king of pentacles. So the five of pentacles, we see this hard luck pair outside of what looks to be like a cathedral. And they don't really see the support behind them. So this hard luck, whether it, whether it means it's illness, whether it means that you're still reeling from this hurt uh, and that you, know, you, you feel down, you feel down and out, you feel like you're not getting support, there's always an important message here is that you know, if they just simply turn around, they may see the pentacles on the stained glass window. They may be able to go in. They may be able to get help. So if you are still reeling, if you are still feeling the consequences or the after effects of someone hurting you or the loss of something near and dear and it's affecting you, uh, your heart and your head, then don't let it fester. Ask for support. Ask for help. Talk to someone. So then, curiously, here in, with, with respect to this possible outcomes here, the five of pentacles, and it also can mean hardship of money, that if you're making a new path, you may have a tough time financially. But then here's the king of pentacles. And the king of pentacles, he's all about abundance. He's all about success in a gentle, caring manner. He work, works toward what he wants. He works hard and is focused on the comforts and the material things, perhaps, that bring him pleasure. So here's an opportunity to be grounded. You know, we're getting this sense of pentacle energy of being grounded and being uh, practical. And yes, you're going to have a little bit of a bumpy road here, but ultimately, whether this is someone who's advising you or ultimately whether you're moving in a direction where you're going to be successful as a result of hard work and of dealing with people, negotiating with people, and having a smart plan in you know, accomplishing what you want to accomplish. This King of Pentacles has thought about it and he's put that plan into work. He's probably surrounded himself with very capable and able-minded people who will help him get what he wants. So very interesting cards here for the week. 
uh, let's see what the oracle cards have in store for us for uh, an affirmation for the week. Show your support. So interesting, show your support. Maybe it's a friend or family member. I would also say, uh, again, if you need support, ask for support. Whether it's to bounce the ideas of this judgment with someone else that you trust, a trusting figure, or uh, again, if it's, if you're thinking of this reawakening and it's taking you out of your comfort zone, maybe there's some support needed to help guide you as you make this change. And finally, let's choose a card for love. So this is love. There's love in your life. There's love all around you. And perhaps thinking about how to bring more love into your life is a, you know, it's simply something simple, but very wise. Oops. <laughs> so Gemini, this is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. I wish you a great week. I thank you for your time and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.